Hey, 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 hey. Come on now. I'm going to say it straight from the top, baby. The Jewish community better slow its roll down with Kyrie Irving. You guys have bitten off something much bigger than you can chew. And I'm speaking specifically, I don't care who is listening. I'm speaking to the ADL. I'm speaking to Adam Silver. I'm speaking to any Jewish rabbi. I'm speaking to any Jewish organization, any Jewish affiliated organization. You guys better slow your roll to a halt when you're talking to Kyrie Irving right now. Because what you've done is you've created a Jew versus black issue right now. And I'm gonna tell you right now to the entire Jewish community and anybody listening to this, that will blow up in your face very, very quickly. Because when we really check the videotape, when we check the roles of history, you people are extremely culpable right. in the oppression of black people. Oh yeah, yes you are. Why don't we take a look at the actual history of Jewish people when it comes to slavery and their participation in owning slaves in America. Do you know that Jewish people own more slaves than any white person in America? Just take, don't trust, don't take my word for it. Go look up an article called The Atlantic on theatlantic.com. There was a, uh, there was a professor by the name of Martin who studied a, a, and wrote a paper and a book about the Jewish interaction in African slavery. Jewish people are the most culpable white people in America in respect to African oppression. You folks better be real quiet when you are looking for a black man to apologize to you for calling out what history has already shown us to be true. Kyrie Irving said it perfectly. He cannot be anti-Semitic if he knows his history. What he is saying is that he believes himself to be Afro-Semitic. And therefore, as an Afro-Semitic man or part of the Afro-Semitic people of which authentic Israelite people come from, it's impossible for him to be anti-Semitic. What he is saying is that the Ashkenazi or the European Jews, the Gentile convert Jews, the individuals claiming Jewishness are not necessarily aboriginally Hebrew. And therefore you should be quiet. That's what he's trying to tell you. And he's trying to say, hey, I don't have to apologize for, for being, being calling anybody anti-Semitic because I never have. I don't have to apologize for a documentary I never wrote. I don't have to apologize for hurting you when you, what she brought up, where were you people when 300 million of my ancestors were buried in America? Where were you? That's what he's asking you. He's asking the Jewish people, where were you when slavery was taking place in America? What was your role? Where were you? He doesn't have to apologize to you. In fact, no black person in North America, no black person in South America, no black person in Africa, and no black person in the diaspora or anywhere within the Mediterranean continent or anywhere else needs to apologize to any Jew, period. So let's get that part perfectly crystal clear before you guys get on your high horse. I don't wanna hear Michael Rappaport. I don't wanna hear any of these Jewish individuals, these moguls, these executives, these individuals controlling entertainment, these multimillionaire Jews, these Zionists, be quiet. Be quiet. And if Kyrie Irving goes into a meeting with Adam Silver, let me tell you who should be at that meeting, okay? The president of the Urban League should be at that meeting, number one. A, a bevy of lawyers, civil rights lawyers, on behalf of Kyrie Irving should be at that meeting. The NAACP should be at that meeting. And the Nation of Islam should be at that meeting too. You wanna bring all, let's bring all the boys to the court. Let's bring everybody to, to sit down and have a conversation, Mr. Silver. Let's everybody, you wanna, you wanna just wait on the sidelines and then throw out some stupid little sentence about you wanna have a conversation with Kyrie? Let's have a conversation. But it will not be no one-on-one -on -one conversation. It'll be a conversation with the entire black community. And please make sure you bring to bear the culpability of the Jewish community when it comes to oppressing blacks. I don't care what the NBA has done. I don't care how the NBA has uplifted itself and caused black coaches and black players and had a partnership with the black community. You Jews have gotten rich off the NBA and, up, and off the backs of black people. And if you think you wanna pull Kyrie Irving as into a, into a meeting, Kyrie Irving is correct. There are millions at his back. Don't think that this is gonna go quiet for you. You better just 
brush it under the rug like you already did with the fake donation to the ADL from the Nets and call it a day. That's what you should do. But don't don't be trying to bring Kyrie into, into the, the teacher's office, into the principal's office, because you feel like you're being tough. I tell you right now, it's gonna blow up in your face. And all these, all these turncoat Negroes, from Jason Williams to Shaq, to, to, to I won't say Kenny's name, because he's not one of them, to Charles Barkley, to all of these little guys that you've got speaking for you, from Malika Andrews, all these little black guys that are being paid by Jews so that they can speak they got you got your hand up their butt like Perkins. Listen, no one, no one over here is, is is expecting a salary from any of you, and so we're gonna say it like it is. Kyrie Irving is saying this, saying it like this. He's already made his millions. He already has his money. He'll he'll be fine for the rest of his life. He never has to play another day for you, and you still gotta pay him. Period. Right? So you wanna wash him out the league? Pay the man his money. Guess what? We'll go find another league to play in. This is the thing that will happen in the lockdown that you got afraid of, that black players don't really need any of you. They don't need the NBA. If they really wanted to form their own league, they can. We can go talk to Ice Cube right now and, and, and turn the big three into the big five. So you guys sit there and you still think that you control anything and you got anybody under, and you, you don't have us under a barrel, buddy. You, none of y'all do. So Adam Silver, step very light when it comes to having conversations with black men about oppression when it comes to Jews. Because guess what? You're the ones with blood on your hands, not us. That's the real spiel. Del K. Brereton, make sure you know. Somebody like, share, and subscribe. Somebody let somebody know that I'm not sitting for it. And there's millions like Kyrie waiting for you to slip up. Don't play with us at all.